Hello, I'm Paula, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel and welcome to a new weekly vlog. Bit of a confession, it's actually already Friday. <laughs> I've been editing the video and I realised I didn't really start it properly, it kind of just went straight into what we did on Sunday. For this particular week, I just wanted to give a bit more of an explanation as to what we are doing in the clips you're about to see. On Sunday, the 7th of October, so last Sunday for you, and for me actually, <laughs> I'm getting confused. Last Sunday, so Sunday the 7th of October, it was the two year anniversary of my dad passing away. So it was his two year anniversary. Um, so every year we've kind of said as a family, we're gonna go over to the crematorium and then we're gonna go for a walk and a meal or something similar like every year. That's what we're gonna see next. We all met up at the crematorium. I didn't film that bit obviously, cause that's a little bit disrespectful, but then we went and had food at a nice pub called the Rose and Crown. And then we went for a really nice walk around the woods cause I hadn't mentioned it anywhere else. I just wanted to say what it was about and if you'd have known my dad when he was here, you'd have known that he would have absolutely loved to get mentioned this vlog. So this one's for you, Gary Hopper. Oh, what about you give people? Where's slacks? <laughs> um, oh, oh, got stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> Stand it there. <laughs> So crazy from a simple maybe. It was a long way down. I just feel so heavy. Without oh, wow, look at that. Everything we were was just so pretty. Pretty much, I almost picked me blind. Still, I'm like everything you told me. You look like you just said you're like 70s porn star. <laughs> Flambago, flamingo. <laughs> hey Millie, what are we doing? We're... What are we doing? What are we doing? Where are we? Um... <laughs> forest! <laughs> in a forest. What are we doing? Don't know. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, where have we come? Where are we? The woods. What woods? <laughs> periwoods. Yeah, periwoods. <laughs> and what are we doing? Just going for a walk? Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking for particularly on the walk? Are you looking for anything? Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't done this. <laughs> we haven't done this. So, Billy, where are we right now? Periwoods. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you looking for? Very Acorns. Weird. Acorns. Yeah. Not a rare badger. No, not a rare badger. Okay. Um, but if we do find a rare badger, we'll let you know. Yeah. That's harsh. Watch out for that one, dude. Oh, it's not here. Everyone get behind me. Behind you? Yeah. It's not in front of you. I can't see so if you're in it or not, but you're not. I'll catch them bird You're all in it, I can see. Are we? Yeah. Cool. Really, is that your acorn? Yes. How happy, you, how happy are you about finding that? Very. It's only one. 
And it's called what? Henry? Henry. Henry. Well wow. done. Well done. Good find. Yes. morning it's monday this morning i've got a bit of a different breakfast because i haven't got any yogurts in so i've gone for some granola with soya light milk and some banana because that's pretty much all i could put together this morning yeah, we're going for a food shop later today because my lunch today is going to be very random as well by the looks of it because we have nothing in the house i've got two like mini home meal wraps here which i found in the kitchen luckily still in date and I've got some corn nuggets in here with um, cheese and barbecue. This is my dinner tonight. I've got vegetarian toad in the hole from Aunt Bessie's, which is really nice. Swede, carrot and parsnip mash and some green beans and a little bit of broccoli. Today's breakfast is a track bar and a banana. It's a bit grab and go this morning, so I'm just having it in my room whilst I'm getting ready. Um, hence why it's on my, on my bed. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm having this morning. Okay, this is what I'm having for lunch today. It's a corn escallop with broccoli and cheese, all cut up. With salad, so I've got just got lettuce, cucumber, tomato and radish here with some Pizza Express house dressing. Nice. Hello, little butter mushroom. <laughs> Hello, I've just been filming a video for my Wednesday upload this week. Um, I really hope it come out all right. I had a bit of a weird morning. I'm not going to go into why or how or whatever, but um, yeah, just had, a, had some weird conversations and um, it's kind of put me in a bit of a weird mood this afternoon. It's okay to feel a bit mess sometimes. It's okay to not always feel 100% about everything you're doing or everything you're feeling or, um, yeah. Obviously not sleeping is not helping because um, I do feel really not myself most of the time at the moment, which isn't, isn't good. So I'm just gonna go upstairs now. I'm just come down here to get some water. I'm just gonna go upstairs and edit the video that I just filmed. Um, edit a bit of my weekly vlog up until sort of today's lunch basically, which is the last meal that I ate. And, um, yeah, I'm going to finish a bit earlier tonight. I keep working until like 8, 9, 10 or stopping, going off to like have dinner or go like last night. I worked till about half seven. Luke then said, should we go and get some shopping? So I met him at the supermarket and um, we did like our weekly shop together and then I come home after that had dinner really late and then carried on working. I ended up working until about two in the morning, which is just stupid. I mean, no one's asked me to do that. No one's like put pressure on me to do anything like that. It's just me. It's just my weird lack of sleep there. Therefore my day kind of gets all messed up and I, but I feel this kind of guilt that I have to do so many hours. Or, that's just how I am. <laughs> so despite me saying earlier that I'm not gonna work late tonight, it's currently 10 to 10. And I've been sat upstairs on my computer. I'm just editing a video that I filmed earlier with my nanny state <laughs> and this is my dinner and I can't believe it's I didn't even realize what the time was can't believe it's only 10 o'clock and I'm eating this but yeah this is my dinner anyway it's a vegetable bake from Tesco only 360 calories and it's basically cauliflower carrot spinach broccoli potato in like a cheesy sauce with a breadcrumb topping because you know how I like my breadcrumbs <laughs> Good morning, got my usual breakfast today. I've got my yogurt and granola and today I've got strawberries with it and my usual trusty black coffee. Just gonna eat this now. I just had a bit of a nightmare. So I've edited my weekly vlog so far and there's a lot of clips in there. It took a lot of work. I spent quite a few hours doing it on Monday morning and a bit of yesterday as well. Anyway, so I had all that edited, all up to date. It was looking really good. I was really happy with it. And I've just gone to open up iMovie again and none of the clips are showing. Despite the clips all being imported in from my memory card, none of them are showing in iMovie. They're all showing like a question mark and says no camera. And it just doesn't make any sense because I have imported them in. So they shouldn't be relying on my camera whatsoever. They're actually in iMovie. Um, so I googled it and there's all different solutions. So I'm just, what I've done, and this may be the cause of it, is I've taken everything off my memory card and put it onto my hard drive so that I haven't deleted the files, but I've put them onto my hard drive instead of my memory card to free up space on my memory card. Now that happened, so I'm thinking it's probably related, but really it doesn't make any sense for it to be because I haven't deleted the files, but they have been imported into iMovie. I haven't touched them from iMovie. I've just taken them off my memory card, but that shouldn't affect it. But 
yeah so that's all happening right now i've i've put all my files that are currently on my hard drive i'm moving them back onto my memory card um in the hope that when i go to import it again it will all just show up and it will magically kind of fit into place because all my editing shouldn't change so all the clips i've edited down the bottom of my timeline shouldn't change anyway i hope you're good i hope you're having a good week so far it's been a lovely sunny week actually really lovely weather so um yeah really lovely uh, weather for sitting inside <laughs> um, i'm just making my lunch i'm making a like a mushroom rice crisp bake thing from tesco again in breadcrumbs i really need to stop eating things in breadcrumbs i mean the things that i eat aren't high calorie but i guess i probably should branch out of breadcrumb covered items <laughs> and yeah i'll show you that when it's done um i've been watching the uh, latest shane dawson documentary about jake paul it's really interesting i feel like a lot of people are saying it's very dragged out and i kind of agree it is very dragged out but at the same time i think everything he's done like every clip he's put in so far is kind of necessary to tell him the story i think if he had just gone straight to him interviewing jake paul you wouldn't have seen the background or seen the like the lead up to it and why certain things would make sense and stuff i think i don't know um but yeah i think it's like an eight part series isn't it but he's on i think it was part five that got released on monday i think it's also really good how he edits the videos in like real time so like the reactions he's got from previous episodes that he's released he then goes on to talk about them or add comments about them in his next ones and i think that's really good so he puts in clips of um other youtubers making their videos about his videos and, and like adding in their comments good and bad so yeah i think that's that's a pretty unique way of doing things so just making my lunch and then i'm going back up to my desk and hopefully that's finished importing back over to the memory card and then i can import the memory card back into imovie to see if it all like clicks into place again i really hope it does because that editing took me so long oh i'm sorry if i'm seeming quite whingy i'm not a whingy person in real life i promise i'm a very positive person of course i like to have a moan now and again as does everyone but i'm certainly not the sort of person you'll find whingy non-stop about things um but yeah sometimes you just have to have a bit of a moan to get things off your chest because this has really pissed me off <laughs> this is my lunch this is that mushroom crisp bake thing that i just said about with my salad and my salad dressing yum I don't want your persona I just want to be real with you tonight Can I have you alone now? I just want to reveal what's on my mind Good morning, it's Thursday. I was about to say Wednesday. It's definitely Thursday. Just done a quick half an hour on my cross trainer because I haven't actually worked out properly for about two weeks now so I really wanted to get a workout in. I didn't leave myself enough time to go to the gym um this morning but i yeah i thought it doesn't matter i'll just jump on that um yeah i've got a cross train in my house don't know if i've actually said that before yeah i'm just gonna jump in the shower and then i'm gonna do a little bit on my computer i want to edit some clips from yesterday for this week's weekly vlog um i mentioned yesterday that i'm having issues with my memory card i'm still having issues with my memory card i did do what i said i was gonna do i imported it and it did all kind of fit into place but then it's all disappeared again so yeah like this week has been such an annoying technical technical fail kind of week like everything seems to have gone wrong so yeah anyway <laughs> plowing on but yeah so um yeah i'm gonna do that after my shower pop up and do some edit some clips and try and get that all fixed again then i'm going to meet rachel for lunch um at a pub sort of quite close to where she lives and not far from where i live as well and then I will be back for a bit to do some, just, I'm going to do some tidying up this afternoon because the house is looking a bit of a mess. So I'm going to do some tidying this afternoon and maybe some bits on my computer. And then my mum is coming over this evening. And if it's nice, we'll walk down the beach and have food out as well. Well, we'll have food out, but if it's nice, we'll walk down the beach as well. So that'd be nice, go for a nice beach walk as well today. So double exercises, which is good. Um, but yeah, I've decided and on the kind of gym exercise front, I've decided just to do whatever I can and just to, if I can't get out to the gym, don't use that as an excuse to not do anything. Jump on my cross trainer for half an hour because at least I've done something or go for a walk or just try and do something every day, even if it is just, you know, a quick workout is best, better than nothing. And it will get my fitness levels up again and it will make me more motivated to go and do longer sessions at the gym as well. Um, but even if, that, if, even if I don't end up doing that, at least I'm getting workouts in every day. That's kind of my aim anyway. This is my form of mental therapy without a doubt. Um, I don't take any medication, I don't do anything like that, but I do exercise. Well, I was exercising a lot, I haven't been so much lately, that's why I'm starting to feel a little bit angsty again. But 
yeah, exercising for me is, is although it's hard to do it sometimes and it's hard to motivate yourself to do it, it absolutely makes you feel 100% better. It releases endorphins and that kind of stuff that we all know about, but it just, I just feel like it does so much more than that. It really gives you like proper mental clarity and yeah, I, the more I exercise, the less I feel anxious or anything like that or, you know, I, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what I'm banging on about. I think everyone knows what exercise does for you, but I'm kind of saying this really to remind myself. When, I, when I'm talking myself out of doing a workout, I need to remember how I feel afterwards. Um, you know, like it's a saying, isn't it? If you could bottle that feeling, then we'd all be millionaires because it is the best feeling. But Use your breakfast this morning, granola, strawberries and yoghurt and a black coffee. You've got a bad reputation People tell me your heart is cold as ice But I think you're amazing I will show you the art of paradise You tell me that you used to no dreaming But I'm gonna change it Yeah, I'll take you straight to Wonderland Cause when my love starts working on you It'll take your breath away like never before And as soon as I go na 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 It'll make you feel that good love working on you On you On you On you On you You're leaving me out in the rain When I try to reach you I know it's hard to break through the chains But I'm gonna teach you I'm gonna reach you Hello, I don't know if you can even see me right now, I have no idea. I basically put my, obviously put my camera in my car, but I basically put it in the corner just because I thought if I put it over that side, it'd be a bit, little bit, one, a bit obvious, a bit um, obstructive. And if I put it there, it would be, it would make more sense. Um, let's close the window. Um, but I don't actually know if you can see me because where I've placed it, I haven't got room to flip the screen up so I can see the screen, so I can see what you're looking at. Um, but anyway, I've just been for lunch with Rachel. That was really nice and a good catch up. And I'm just driving home now. And when I get in, I'm gonna do some tidying. And um, I need to do a little bit of editing and then my mum is coming round at about five-ish. I have come down the wrong way, which is really, really annoying. Oh, that's a nice house. It's Friday, woo woo woo. I'm just making my breakfast. I've got mango, a whole mango actually, and some lemon yogurt, and I've got a black coffee. Just watching The Apprentice, because this is the first episode that aired a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just catching up on that because I haven't seen it yet and I kind of wanted to know what was going on. Um, I did my workout this morning, woo woo woo. Back on it, back on it. No idea what that was. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that. I feel like I just need to carry on now kind of force myself every day a little bit to do it because until it becomes the norm again, I won't necessarily think of it like naturally to do it, but that's fine. And gradually it just becomes part of your day. And if you don't do it, you feel weird or like you feel like you haven't 
like ticked all your boxes off for the day so that's my aim is to get back to feeling like that because that's a good place to be I was saying yesterday that um, even if I do half an hour on my cross trainer which is what I did again today even if I do that it still counts because it's still a workout I burnt off just over 300 calories so I mean it definitely still counts because that's a meal or almost a meal in some cases so I'm going to set myself a goal of doing three and a half hours of exercise a week that equates to either half an hour a day of obviously like cross trainer or walking or whatever or if I go to the gym sometimes and do like a bigger workout if I do like an hour in the gym that's like two days worth if you know what I mean so I'm not saying that I wouldn't necessarily do more but my aim is to re is to meet the goal of three and a half hours a week because that is a good achievable goal it's it's like a sensible amount as well it's not too much I can't really injure myself only doing that <laughs> I can always injure myself I don't have to be working out to injure myself um, but yeah that's the kind of plan for me anyways three and a half hours a week but yeah, having done my second one today, I'm already feeling really pumped for it and just, you know, I'm, even after two workouts, so only an hour of working out, I already feel better. So I know it just works for me so well. But today I'm working upstairs again. I'm going to just be doing a bit of my own marketing today, looking into that kind of thing. I need to set up a LinkedIn profile because I do have one, but it's got nothing on it right now. So I need to kind of set that up properly and update it for my new details, for my new business. I haven't even said on here, my website launched the other day. What was it? I think it was Wednesday night. I put it out on Instagram, Twitter, and um, all that kind of stuff that I'd launched my website. So that is now live. It's paulasimmons.co.uk. Check it out, go and see what I do. I'm a virtual assistant, so I've started my, no my own virtual assistant business. I offer a range of administrative services to help out busy people, essentially. So to help small businesses or to help people in their personal life who just need someone to do some admin for them, <laughs> putting it bluntly. So all the kind of sometimes boring but essential admin tasks that you perhaps find that you don't have time for in your life I'm there to help out um, and also build very small simple websites so if that's something you need or you know someone who does then I might be able to help you go and check out my website because it explains a lot more thoroughly on there exactly what I can help with or sort of the sort of ideas of things that I can help with um, and you never know you may know someone who who would really benefit from that help who perhaps doesn't want a full-time employee you can contact me direct at hello at paulasimmons.co.uk all of my contact details are below and they're also on my website so yeah if, if you know you see something on there that interests you or something you've seen on there gives you the idea of something you might want to help with um, then yeah just just let me know for now I'm gonna have my breakfast I'm gonna carry on watching The Apprentice I'm gonna go upstairs and start doing some marketing bits um, I have um, edited my weekly vlog up until last night so fingers crossed the memory card and all that kind of stuff is still working okay Okay, so this is my lunch. I've got the other mushroom crisp bake thing that I had the other day, and I've got some roasted uh, broccoli and mushroom. These just got a little bit of salt and pepper on, a little bit of fry light, and some, um, I don't know what it's called. I'll have to show you at some point, but it's like savory seasoning type stuff. It's like a mixture of different seasonings in one pot. It's just really handy to use and it tastes really nice. So yeah, I'll show you what that is at some point, but yeah, that's what I've got on there. And I'm really, really hungry because it's already half past two. So just cut up these potatoes and I'll pop them in the oven a bit closer to when Luke's on his way home. Um, just use a little crinkle cut cutter to make them look a bit more interesting. And I actually think crinkle cut chips taste better. If anyone agrees with me, let me know. But. This is my dinner for tonight. It's a salmon fillet with Cajun spices, crinkle cut chips and mushy peas. Hello, I'm just about to edit the rest of the vlog and get it uploaded, so I thought I'd end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Please give you a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Life is... Oh, sorry. Life is just too short to smile while you can. Yeah. Smile while you have tea. Life is too small while you still have tea. Life is short. Smile while you still have tea. Really? One more go. One more go. My life message is don't fart with tights on, it blows your shoes off. <laughs> life is short, smile while you still have tea. Very good. <laughs>